My name is Amber Mo. I'm 27 from Mississippi. I was born with retinoblastoma, which is uh, cancers and cancer in the eye. My retinas were detached. Um, up until about four years ago, I could see just lights and shadows. Now I can't see anything. It actually doesn't bother me at all. It's something that um, I've learned to live with. Um, I manage quite well, I think. Um, so it's just my lifestyle. I don't have any uh, issues with it. So I'm here to do the MOS program. MOS stands for Microsoft Office Specialist. Um, I'm going through, well, I've gone through Outlook. So I have Word, which I'm currently working on, Excel, and PowerPoint. And I'll be getting my certification in all four of those. The main reason I came was to, after, after completing the program, was to find employment. I would actually, I wouldn't mind an office job, um, like working in a school or a bank or just anything. So the Snack Shack is in place to raise money for the clients here at World Services. Um, the clients come and purchase things as well as the staff. We have. Um, coffee and snack items. There's a money identifier called, I believe it's called an iBill that we have available in the Snack Shack. So if I'm unsure as to what a bill is, I can just put it in in that and press a button and it tells me what it tells me what it is. There's um, a device called a liquid indicator. So I, I put it the prongs over into the side of the cup and whenever the coffee or any liquid um, hits the, those prongs and makes a high-pitched beeping noise so that you know to stop pouring. The money that we raise um, is used for events for clients. For instance, we went to the fair back in October and we were able to give each client who went $20 to go towards games or food or whatever they chose to spend it on. I think I've become more confident. I mean, I've always been a confident and independent person, but I've just become more confident in what I want to do. Um, I've also learned that, which I kind of knew this, but I learned that I really do like helping and serving others. I truly uh, have impacted several people because people who have lost their sight later on in life say that we who have been born blind, they look up to us because they see that we can do it. So they feel inspired and uh, motivated to continue with their journey. The one thing that I would tell someone who thinks that blind people can't do anything um, is to just watch and observe because even though we are blind, our minds still work. Um, we still are able to hold jobs and live independently so ask questions watch observe and just have an open mind if someone was looking for an organization to donate money to i think world services would be great because so many people come through here with different stories and different backgrounds and they just want to live their life independently and i think that the money can a long way in helping each client reach their goal.